Hi, my dear students. In the last class, we studied about nucleus, its structure, nature, function, and the differences between eukaryotic cell and prokaryotic cell. Today, we can move on to the next topic: cytoplasm. You know, each and every cell composed of mainly three components: cell membrane. cytoplasm and nucleus what is meant by cytoplasm cytoplasm is the fluid content which is seen inside the cell membrane it is a fluid part of the cell and this cytoplasm possesses various compartments you know in the case of all complex cells they require a lot of chemical activities to maintain their function structure etc to keep these activities of different kinds separate from each other cell require various compartments and these various compartments in order to performing different function are known as cell organelles so what are cell organelles cell organelles are the various compartments which is seen in the cytoplasm and each cell organelles it do is doing one specific function and these cell organelles are enveloped by one membrane so all these cell organelles are bounded by one membrane so we can call it as a membrane bound cell organelles membrane bound cell organelles and the presence of membrane is very important for doing different chemical activities you know the in the case of virus which do not have any cell envelope so the virus cannot show the characteristic features of life until it enter inside a host cell so outside one host cell virus cannot show any characteristic features of life avade edengil or host cell il enter eedu kanjal mathrave virus can show its features so the presence of one membrane is very important due to the lack of this membrane only outside the host cells virus cannot show any characteristic features of life here the cell organelles are bounded by membrane then only each cell organelles can do one function okay so the cell and also you know that this membrane bound cell organelles are absent in prokaryotic cell and the presence of membrane bound cell organelles are the characteristic features of all eukaryotic cell so can you give some example of this cell organelles char they endoplasmic reticulum Golgi bodies or Golgi apparatus, Golgi apparatus or Golgi bodies, lysosome, mitochondria, plastids, vacuoles. etc so these are the some of the cell organelles endoplasmic reticulum golgi apparatus lysosome mitochondria plastids vacuoles etc and all these cell organelles are absent in prokaryotic cell but all these are present in eukaryotic cell so we can study one by one 
First one is the endoplasmic reticulum. So this endoplasmic reticulums are the fine network of membrane bound tubular structures or sheets like structures. And sometimes it may appear in the vesicular structures, tubular structures, spherical structures and also the vesicular bablet structures also. So in the case of cell around the nucleus we can see the fine tubular net like structures. Like the fine tubular network membrane bound structures. And these structures are known as the endoplasmic reticulum. It extends between the cell membrane and to the nuclear membrane. So it will provide the framework to the cell. And the nature of this membrane is almost similar like that of the cell membrane. You know that cell membrane is made up of lipids and proteins. So the membranes of this endoplasmic reticulum is also composed of lipids and proteins. And there are two types of endoplasmic reticulum in cell. One is rough endoplasmic reticulum. Rough endoplasmic reticulum and another one is smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So there are, there are mainly two types of endoplasmic reticulum: rough endopla endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. In rough endoplasmic reticulum, a small particles. Another one, organelles, ribosomes are attached on the surface of endoplasmic reticulum. A small organelles, ribosomes. So ribosomes are attached on the surface of endoplasmic reticulum. Such endoplasmic reticulum are known as rough endoplasmic reticulum and in the smoother there is no ribosome. So due to the presence of ribosome on the surface of endoplasmic reticulum it gives a rough nature to the endoplasmic reticulum. So that it is known as the rough endoplasmic reticulum. But in smooth endoplasmic reticulum there is no ribosome so it is a smooth in nature. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And these ribosomes are protein factories of the cell. Ribosomes are known as protein factories of the cell. Inside the ribosome, the protein synthesis occurs. And from the ribosome, it is the, these proteins are transported to various parts of the cell based on their requirements. Mainly proteins synthesize in the other channel, ribosome and ribosome endoplasmic reticulum in the surface in the program, surface lab. Okay, so the rough endoplasmic reticulum helps in the protein manufacture. And the smooth endoplasmic reticulum helps in the lipid manufacture. Lipid in the formation help in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Rough endoplasmic reticulum helps in the protein manufacture. You know, the cell membrane is made up of proteins and lipids. So, the proteins and lipids which are manufactured by endoplasmic reticulum is used for the synthesis of cell membrane. 
cell membrane proteins and lipids so what are the medium so what is endoplasmic reticulum manufacturing proteins and lipids so what are the cell membrane synthesis in the LPN so that process is known as membrane biogenesis that process is known as membrane biogenesis so the proteins and lipids which are manufactured by endoplasmic reticulum is used for the synthesis of the cell membrane and that process is known as membrane biogenesis clear okay then what are the various functions which are played by the endoplasmic reticulum endoplasmic reticulum acts as a channel to transport various substances within the cytoplasm from one side to the next side of the cytoplasm it acts as a channel to transport through this endoplasmic reticulum various substances are transported from one side to the next side of the cytoplasm and next one it provides a framework for doing different biochemical activities ee endoplasmic reticulum ke vich different biochemical activities nadakkum we have already studied the protein synthesis takes place in rough endoplasmic reticulum lipid formation occurs in smooth endoplasmic reticulum so it provide a framework for doing different biochemical activities and in some cells of the vertebrates some liver cells of the vertebrates the smooth endoplasmic reticulum helps to detoxification process to disintegrate any toxic substances the smooth endoplasmic reticulum plays an important role in some liver cells of vertebrates all these are the important functions which are played by the endoplasmic reticulum so endoplasmic reticulum is a fine network of membrane bound tubular sheets there are many two types of endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum and rough endoplasmic reticulum helps in the protein synthesis and smooth endoplasmic reticulum helps in the lipid synthesis then what is the membrane biogenesis it is a process of using proteins and lipids which are manufactured by endoplasmic reticulum for cell wall or the cell membrane formation and also the function clear students okay about all other cell organelles we can study in the next section thank you